All right, welcome to episode five of the Warrior Dad Podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Wickersham, founder of the Warrior Dad Experience, and everything about the Warrior Dad is out at www.thewarriordad.com. Today's topic, self-reflection and mindfulness for dads. And I feel like this is such a powerful, powerful topic to get into because we're not taught how to do this on a daily, weekly basis at any level of schooling. I know just from being brought up, I wasn't taught in my family, no fault of my parents. I had great parents, but I I just wasn't made aware of this type of self-reflection, this type of mindfulness that can be so, so critical, so, so helpful in how we lead as dads as husbands, as men for our families. And I'm going to take it in, break it up into two chunks. We're going to talk about self-reflection. Then we're going to talk about mindfulness. And self-reflection is so, so important. You've probably felt it in your life, dad, right? You've got so many different hats you wear. You're juggling so many balls at one time, trying to keep everything up in the air work, personal life, fitness, kids' activities, date night with the wife, all these things that you're doing your best to accomplish, to strive towards, but you fall short. And it is a pattern that might be happening time and time again. I know personally for myself, it did. I felt like I was on this never-ending hamster wheel of life. A day became a week, became a month, and it was just like Groundhog Day. Every single day, same thing over and over again. And I felt like I was getting no progress in a professional capacity or in my personal life. And it was frustrating as heck. Times I was angry about it. Times I was frustrated. Times I played the victim role of why is this happening to me? Why can't I get to this certain level, either professionally or personally? One of the biggest reasons was I never did any self-reflection. Never did that hard work of looking back on the week that was. What I do well? What could I do better? And what was I going to implement so I could be at my best? Think about it. When was the last time you blocked off? And I would highly, highly recommend you do this if you're listening to it on the day that this episode's released on Friday. Block off a half an hour at the end of the day. Do some self-reflection. What worked personally? What worked professionally? What didn't? And then what are you going to do to be at your best in both of those areas. And that's a strategy that you can not only leverage with yourself, and that's always where it begins. That's always where I coach dads in the warrior dad experience to begin. We've got to fix and we've got to work on ourselves first. Why? Well, when you do the work on yourself, as I've done six, seven years, from a personal development perspective, allows you to lead. And I definitely want you to stand up and be that leader for your for your family. Allows you to lead authentically. You can speak to your experiences. You can speak to maybe the struggles or challenges that you face in the process because growth is not a straight line up. But going through that process of self-reflecting You could do it on a daily basis. I always want to make things, and I do this in my coaching space, make things simple, easy, almost laughable. Because if we say we're going to do it every single day, we're going to self-reflect, the mind all of a sudden jumps in and say, that's too much, too soon. Just do it once a week, 15 minutes, half an hour. Reflect on the week that was. What you are doing when you do that, you're basically hitting that pause button on the hamster wheel. You're stepping off for a second. 
and you're strategically thinking about what went well. And I always want you to start with what went well. Why? You're reinforcing to the positive side. There are always things that you did well in the previous week, let's say, for example. Reinforce the positive first. We want to do that over and over again. Then you can dive into, hey, what didn't go great? What could I do better? That's the second step of it. And then third in the self-reflection process is what am I going to do? What action am I going to take this next week coming up to be at my best? That pause button off the hamster wheel allows you to strategically think and you can do, hey, what did I do good? What could have I done better? What am I going to do? What action am I going to take to be at my best? You can do that both personally and professionally. Both sides of the equation are very, very important. But it gives you a little bit of space. It gives you that pause button. And then it allows you to say, okay, here's the action I'm going to take next week. Right? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. But yet so many times... We're on our heels. We're playing defense. We're letting life throw haymakers at us. We're not embracing that warrior mentality to fight for what we truly want. And we wonder why we stay stuck. We wonder why we don't have time in the day. We wonder why our energy is so low. We wonder why we're frustrated on a daily basis. Taking that time to hit the pause button on the hamster wheel of life, self-reflect, what I do good, what could I have done better, what action am I going to take to be at my best moving forward. Very, very powerful three-step process. Dads, here's the other benefit to it. You can share that with your kids. You can share it with your wife. Not happy about it, but I used to go at my sons after a sporting event, especially my oldest. I knew I could push him. Wasn't proud dad moments back years ago. If he didn't give full effort in a, let's say, a summer league game, I remember it vividly. I was sitting in the driver's seat of my truck. He was diagonal behind me. Didn't give 100% effort in his summer league basketball game. And we went after each other. Wouldn't have been so much more impactful if I'd said, hey, buddy, what'd you do good in the game? Reinforce the good first. What could you have done better? Maybe you said effort. What are you going to do? What action are you going to take to be at your best next time? Well, I'm going to tell myself I'm giving 110% before I go out there versus us screaming at each other. You can share all these things all these strategies, all these tactics, all these tools that I give you in this podcast that I teach the dads that jump into the Warrior Dad Experience, that 10-week immersive program, we learn at the highest level to implement ourselves, take action, and then share it with our kids. We are planting seeds for future growth. But it's up to you, dad, to take the first step, to hit that pause button on the hamster wheel, get off of it, Take some time to self-reflect. When we do that, we get space and then we can make progress. Then we can take action moving forward next week. And you know what happens when you do that? You get better. All of a sudden, you get a little progress. You get a little momentum in your life. Know what happens when you get a little progress, get a little momentum? You get more motivated to do it again. We all think we need this boundless motivation to attack life. I say move first because when you move first, when you get progress, when you get a little momentum, the motivation starts to build. The mind says we can do this. And then it builds on itself and it becomes a circle and you become this unstoppable force of of action. Self-reflection, that's the first part. Spend some time today or 
whenever you listen to this episode, block out 15, 30 minutes. Reflect on the week past seven days that were. What'd you do to good? What could you have done better? And what action are you going to take to be at your best? And then once you do it, if you have an athlete like I do, two of them, you can share that after games or practices. That's a great gift to give our children. One, it reinforces the positive. Two, it gets them thinking about that, reflecting, and then taking action to get better moving forward. So that's the self-reflection piece of today's podcast. Second piece is mindfulness, right? Just being aware in the present moment, kind of stepping in between stimulus of what's happening and the response. Best way to do that, and I've learned this practice the hard way. I used to definitely with my wife, anytime she'd be speaking, my mind, I'm a fixer. I would always be thinking of the solution rather than just listening to her. Definitely happened with my sons when they were younger. Now I just intently listen. I want to give them my undivided attention. I don't want to think about how to fix what's going on. Mindfulness, great way to practice it. Just breathe. Take one breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Step in between that stimulus, that response. Be present in the moment. You can do it. And I've done it when my boys were riding their bikes when they were a lot younger in the cul-de-sac by my house. Sitting there just breathing, taking in the moment, not thinking about anything else. Being brought to tears, watching them ride their bicycles, knowing that those moments wouldn't last forever and they don't, they don't ride bikes anymore. So there's the example, right, of practicing some mindfulness, just breathing in through the nose. It's something that's so automatic for us. And it's almost laughable. And I've had dads that go through the worry dad experience that kind of think I'm a little hokey when I say, hey, there is power in the breath. There's power just breathing and centering yourself. Then when they do it, they can't believe the difference it makes in their lives. Want to be a little bit more mindful? Want to be a little bit more present? I hear that from so many dads that I talk to. They want to be intentional. They want to be present with their family. Great way is to just breathe. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. That's practicing mindfulness. That's powerful because 99.9% .9 of people and dads specifically don't ever practice that. You want to be that outlier? I love to say dare to be uncommon. You want to be that one dad that changes a family tree forever? You need to go against the grain. You need to do things that others aren't doing. It's so easy to fall in the herd, to fall in line and do what's common. I don't think if you're listening to this podcast, you want a common life for your children. You want a common life for your family tree, for your family legacy. Then we need to do the self-reflection at the end of the week. We need to take action. We need to get progress. We need to get momentum. We need to share these strategies, these seeds for future growth with our kids, with our children, with our legacy. We need to practice mindfulness, just breathing. Even if something triggers you, maybe it's a text, maybe it's an email from work, breathe. Think about just being in the present moment. Think about how you get 18 seasons with your kids and then they're out of the house. Do you think looking back, You'll really care if you answer that email or that text message, or you had a micro moment with your children, watched them, breathed in, took it in, and were brought to tears of emotion. That's the warrior dad way. That's very, very powerful. So you got self-reflection as a takeaway. Put it in action. It will change your world. And then you've got mindfulness. You want to get a little bit more present. Want to be more intentional with the kids? 
Take a breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Focus on just the present moment and all the beauty that is in your life. It will open up your eyes. It will give you a self-awareness that those emotions will start tugging on your heartstrings. I guarantee it. I've seen it happen to me. I appreciate you listening, watching. Listen, share this up with other dads in your network. Build this movement. I can't do it all on my own. I need your help. Share it up with a dad in your network that might see benefit from it. Dare to be uncommon. Love lead legacy. Create a legendary day. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.